Welcome back to another episode of NASA Space News. When Mars undergoes its winter season, the planet's surface is transformed into a surreal winter wonderland. The season's below freezing temperatures bring snow, ice, and frost. Some of the coldest of these occur at the planet's poles, where it gets as low as minus 190 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 123 degrees Celsius. Cold as it is, don't expect snowdrifts worthy of the Rocky Mountains. Snowfall on Mars never exceeds a few feet, and even then, it only occurs on the planet's flattest regions. Due to Mars' elliptical orbit, the winter season lasts for a lot longer there, about twice as long as it does on Earth. However, thanks to NASA's robotic Mars explorers, scientists have been able to investigate the planet's peculiar winter occurrences. Here I will demonstrate some of the findings they have made. On Mars, you may find both water ice and carbon dioxide snow, sometimes known as dry ice. Water ice snow melts before it reaches the ground on Mars, due to the very low temperatures and extremely thin atmosphere. Dry ice snow actually does reach the ground. So you might ask, how we know it snows? On Mars, snowfall is restricted to the planet's coldest regions, which are the planet's poles when cloud cover is present at night. Cameras on orbiting spacecraft can't see through those clouds, and surface missions can't survive in the extreme cold. As a result, no images of falling snow have ever been captured. But scientists know it happens, thanks to a few special science instruments. Since it is able to detect light at wavelengths, invisible to the human eye, the Mars Climate Sounder instrument on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter can see through clouds. Scientists can now detect carbon dioxide snowfall thanks to this capability. Furthermore, in 2008, NASA sent the Phoenix lander to within 1,000 miles, or approximately 1,600 kilometers, of Mars's North Pole, where it utilized a laser sensor to identify water ice snow falling to the surface. All snowflakes on Earth have six sides because of the way water molecules link together during the freezing process. It's important to remember that the form of each given crystal is predetermined by the way its constituent atoms are arranged. Frozen carbon dioxide molecules usually form four-membered bonds in dry ice. The end of winter is a time of great wonder, since this is when all the accumulated ice starts to melt and sublimate into the atmosphere, revealing a new world above. As it does so, this ice takes on bizarre and beautiful shapes that have reminded scientists of spiders, Dalmatian spots, fried eggs, and Swiss cheese. That's all for now. Make sure you don't miss any updates by subscribing to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out our previous videos. And for up-to-the-minute updates, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.